Hello people, in today's video, we look at another interesting problem from group theory. The problem states that we need to prove that an infinite group has infinitely many subgroups. So let G be infinite group. So we know that the group of integers is infinite and has infinitely many subgroups of the form Yz. So if G has an element of order infinity, then the subgroup generated by that element is isomorphic to the group of integers and hence we get infinitely many subgroups of G. So if A belongs to G is an element such that order of A equals to infinity, this implies set of all groups generated by A power K where K is a natural number. is set of infinitely many subgroups of G. A, let A, an order of A is equal to infinity. And we have A power K is subgroup of group generated by A, which is subgroup of G. So, what if there does not exist an element of infinite order in G? So in that case, if there does not exist any element of infinite order in G, then consider the set K, where K is set of all subgroups generated by each element, that is set of all subgroups generated by A, where A is an element in G. We claim that K has infinitely many subgroups of G. The proof is by contradiction. If cardinality of K is less than infinity, then we know that cardinality of G is less equal to summation over cardinality of subgroups generated by A, where the subgroup generated by A is an element of K. Now note that if K is finite, this is a finite sum and since each subgroup each element has finite order each subgroup is of finite order and hence this term will be finite which implies order of g is finite which is a contradiction hence our initial hypothesis that k is of finite order is wrong therefore k has infinitely many elements and hence g has infinitely many subgroups i hope you like the video for more similar videos please subscribe the channel thank you